Good morning. Happy Friday. Uh, I'm Shamara Brower Arnold, the Enchanted Fairy. And as per yesterday when I promised I was going to make a video, I actually tried a couple times. Um, but I realized that just trying to go off the cuff wasn't really helping me kind of describe who I am and what my purpose is here. So I've written down some notes, so if you see me looking over on the side, I'm just uh, looking over to make sure that I can really truly encompass what it is that I'm here to do for everybody. So firstly, let me just tell you a little bit about my past. Um, growing up, I always knew that I was slightly set apart for most people in the fact that I didn't really have a, a great big group friend. I would call in sick to school to finish a book I was very much a sole, solitary kind of person and, and was really unsure of how to connect with other people. Um, totally involved in anything fairy tale. If I could read it, watch it, collect it, I would. Like, for instance, maybe, just maybe, I owned over 50 Disney movies uh, before I even had children. And maybe, just maybe, I know every single word to The Little Mermaid had the cassette. Same with Beauty and the Beast, Aladdin. That was me in a nutshell. I was fairy tale. I was living the fairy life from as long as I can remember. What kind of steered me away from the path was that I became a mom really young, 19 years old, and uh, my son was a bit of a high needs mental health child. Such a gift to the world going to grow up and do amazing things. But it definitely was a bit of a challenge through majority of our lives together. And so I became a personal trainer in order to, because as an empath, right, you have to understand picking up feelings and emotions, I needed to be around positive energy all day long in order to go home and stay positive at home. Fill my cup up, with happy things, and then as the stress of the house life happened, I would deplete my cup and go into work, and it was a cycle, and it was fantastic. About halfway through the year last year, my son and I had to break up. Uh, it was briefly, and we are very close again, so please understand, it had to happen. Um, but in that moment, I realized I didn't know who I was anymore. I had lived my entire youth from my 20s until late 30s, um, defined by helping him. And even though I love being a personal trainer, and it was definitely one of the greatest gifts I've ever had for 10 years, I knew that now I had an open road to really try to address who I was and what I wanted to do. And so I kind of got a little depressed because when you have an open road and your identity as a mother and as a helper and all of these things goes, you lose sight of who you are. And so I, I started meditating and I, I started A Course in Miracles, and I started Leonie Dawson's uh, Biz Life Academy, which was a true gift. And it was through going through the courses and the material in there that I realized I'm a creative. And what used to bring me joy as a, as a kid was arting and crafting and drawing and writing stories and, and anything I could do that was creative. And so I thought, you know... To come out of this funk, I need to do something that's going to bring me back to who I was. And so before the end of last year was complete, I had drawn with, with a co-illustrator, Julie Carmichael, a beautiful Color to Create Your Most Amazing Year 52-week coloring agenda. And it arrived on my doorstep on December 31st. And I can't even tell you what that, that alone meant to me. And the fact that it is now May 6th, and 66 people are finding joy in what that creation was and having it address their weeks and change their meditation practices, even by coloring and helping them find, you know, goal setting to be enjoyable is beyond, like, words can't even put, like, how good that makes me feel. So after that little bit of a breakthrough and finding out that I was a creative, and starting A Course in Miracles and really kind of addressing the fact that I am spiritual. I bought my first Oracle deck 10 years ago and I hid it from people for a really long time. And when Ethan and I broke up briefly, um, in my meditation, I started to talk to my angels. And my angels were telling me, Tamara, you need to be a creative. You need to put things out in this world that will bring people joy and help them connect to who they were when they were younger as well. And uh, so then I, you know, it's funny months ago, years ago, uh, my therapist said to me, you know, you need to do oracle cards. And I said, no. 
And yet, here I am, years later, and my angels are telling me the same thing. I am meant to help people. I got my life coaching last month. I'm going to use my intuition and my angels and your angels to help guide you back to who you were when you still believed in fairy tales. And, you know, you knew when we were in our late adolescence, early teens, we'd gone through every sport, everything to figure out who we, who we were and what we wanted to be. And my job and my purpose is to help you reconnect to who that person was. Um, you know, it's, it's amazing that we can be so very clear in who, what we want and the world kind of steers us in a different direction. Mine was through having a child young. It could have been a teacher or a parent or somebody who said, you know, you need to, you know, take your head out of the clouds or, you know, change who you are or do something different to make more money. And yet in your heart and in your soul, you know you're meant to be doing something. So this is my journey, right? I want to share it with you from start to finish. I don't have a website yet. I don't have a lot of things. But I want to show what you can do from the very minute you make a decision to making it happen. So look for me. I'm going to be Snapchatting my journey. I'm going to be showing you how possible dreams can be. And, and if you're looking for somebody to help you do the exact same thing, I know I'm the one for you. Um, the Enchanted Fairy is here. She, and that, you know, it's about intuitive life coaching. It's about angel card reading. And it's also about living a creative, passionate life and, and making beautiful things to share and to bring magic, true belief in magic, back into the world. So that's a little bit about me. I'm going to be posting a lot more videos and some cards every day and things like that. So if this is something that you can feel, then absolutely join me in my journey. I am stoked and excited, guys, that I get to share this with you. And I won't lie, the fact that I have 80 followers in less than a day, oh, my heart, it is so full. So thank you, thank you, thank you, everybody. And I look forward to sharing with everybody everything. Okay, have a beautiful soulful, magical Friday.